Hi, I'm Father Anthony Hannon from Envian Patches, and this is to prepare his way. Go, Quebecers, go. Quebecers, rise up. You are the spark that we need, I'm telling you. I pray to God that you are the spark, that you light a fire in the spirit of all Canadians, all North Americans, all around the world. You've got what it takes. I love what you're doing in Montreal with your freedom rallies. Really? I love your spirit. I love your fighting spirit. I love your kind of resistance against the totalitarian government controls and measures. I love it. I love it. I love it. Keep up the good work. You know, I was down on uh, Parliament Hill on July the 1st for Dominion Day or Canada Day. And uh, many people didn't know, but there was a freedom rally down there. And one of the most encouraging things was to see so many people come from Quebec with the Quebec provincial flag and uh, to support freedoms and to you know, kind of be part of this resistance and non-compliance. I, I just loved it then, and I love what you're doing now. And, uh, you know, there's also rallies, freedom rallies in Toronto every week down at Queen's Park. And uh, But you know what, Torontonians, uh, there seems to be more people at the Montreal rallies. So, uh, well, you know what, uh, there's nothing wrong with a little bit of competition. And if it's the Quebec, Ontario competition for the freedoms, I think there's nothing wrong with that, eh? So Toronto, get more people out there. And Quebecers, you show the rest of Canada how proud you are and how freedom-loving you are, and you just keep what you're doing. And I love what you're doing in Montreal, too, in supporting the police. That's exactly what we should be doing. And you know what? The police know. The police are on duty down on Parliament Hill. They knew these are good, decent people down there. They know, too, at the Montreal rally, and they know also at the Toronto rally and Vancouver, everywhere, the police can tell who good, decent people are. They're dealing with, you know, all sorts of, you know, difficult people on a daily basis. And that when they see, like, normal Canadians just exercising their right to protest in a peaceful way, uh, they do respect that. We do need the police on our side, and they will be on our side because, uh the others who are, you know, called protesters, who are actually rioters and just filled with vulgarity with everything they say and all they have is slogans and no rational discourse, the police know. They, the police know who the good guys are. But, you know, every policeman, every military person, they receive a paycheck from the government, eh? And uh, this is the challenge. We need to, you know, all police and military, you have to uh, please... Um, you know, stand up for for reason and truth and peace and freedom and protect citizens and uh, don't be agents of uh, of the state when the state asks us to ask you to do things that are bad or to protect those who are bad and to leave vulnerable those who are good. OK, um, I think that's enough for now. I'll leave a link in the description to Laura Lynn Tyler Thompson's coverage of the Montreal rally. Um, it's a little bit difficult on the audio side, but if you do go there, please, I hope that you see, you all see what I see in the uh, good spirit down in Montreal for their rallies. Now, rallies and protests are not enough, though. I hope we all know that. It um, doesn't matter if we have 100,000 uh, Canadians down on the street at Parliament Hill or anywhere. doesn't matter if uh, you still have 99.9% .9 of the people shopping with masks on or going to church with masks on or walk in the streets with masks on, then um, the government's just going to laugh at us, eh? because we're such a minority. We need massive non-compliance. It's more important to non-comply, you know, to unjust orders, uh, than to protest. Uh, but we need both, and uh, these rallies are uh, a great encouragement to me and to anyone who is present at them. Okay, uh, that's enough for now. Uh, as always, May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. The truth has set you free, so live free. Oh, there you are. You tried phoning me? So that's uh, one of my friends. Uh, he's just uh, keeping his eye out for me, and uh, God bless you, eh, brother? Just keep my eye out. He's telling me to stay on the outside, away from the buildings. So uh, just keep. He's a good strategist in case there's any trouble. You can ask yourself why it won't be on the news tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Talk about good reporting. Won't be on the news tonight.
Oh, this is beautiful. Yeah. This is For beautiful. Ottawa, this is... Yeah. Watch it. God bless the police. are still coming. These are true patriots. We're just staying back a little bit, letting the rest of the crowd fill in the inside. They're still coming. Anyway, there's no one here at the U.S. Embassy except for guards or whatever, but uh, because they do uh, honor whatever uh, the uh, the holidays of the country they're in. So July 4th, of course, Independence Day, but this is July 1st, Canada Day, so the workers are not uh, not there. But it was already arranged in advance that Norm Traversy would, Traversy would, would um, deliver this, and then uh, they're going to take it back, though, because uh, they can't just leave something in front of the U.S. Embassy. The bomb squad will be pulled in. But uh, this is a, it's kind of like a symbolic act, and to see so many, so many people come out for this is really uh, uh, heartening.